It's time for Lifestyles of the Rich and Shameless, the game where we learn how stars of show and screen and big business squander their fortunes and their lives. Here's how it works. I will read true stories from the lives of the rich and shameless. Our panelists will guess who I'm talking about. Whoever gets the most right wins a private island full of Teslas. That's very exciting. I would like to play for that. However, I'm disqualified since I have the answers. Alexandra, Kevin, Dave, are you all ready? Absolutely. Yeah. I'll take you to my island if I win. Kevin, you are the most romantic person I know. If only. <laughs> I, all right. I've always said that. Here we go. Alex, here's question number one. This is for you. Which of these rich and shameless never owned a pet tiger? Mike Tyson, Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson, or Flavor Flav? Never owned a tiger. Which one? Flavor Flav. Yeah, boy! You got that right. Never owned a tiger, although he uh, was very kinky with Brigitte Nielsen. That was a thing. <laughs> All right, Kevin, here is your question. Which of these rich and shameless once bought a $20,000 Louis Vuitton teddy bear for her one-month-old baby? Was it Kylie Jenner, Jada Pinkett Smith, or Hillary Clinton? <laughs> I really want to say Hillary, but I think it's Kylie, hopefully. Yeah! Yeah, it's always going to be a Jenner. Deal it. Smash and grab. <laughs> um, all right, Dave, here you go. Question number one for you, Dave. Which of these rich and shameless once confessed to owning more than 10,000 pair of shoes? Was it Mila Kunis, Celine Dion, or Ginger Spice? I'm going to go with Celine Dion. Yes! My heart will go on. The heart of the ocean is in her <laughs> closet with all of her shoes. I don't know where you got all those shoes, but there are so many in <laughs> down mine. Um, that was a horrible accent. Okay, here you go. Alex, <laughs> which of these rich and shameless ones paid $55 million for a Kentucky Derby winning racehorse? Was it Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen, Jay-Z, or Rosie O'Donnell? Look at Rosie's face. That's go with Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> That was the worst answer you could have given. That she is the least likely, and that's not true. It was actually Jay Z. He has a lot of money. Race horses. He has galore. a big farm in New Jersey. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he sure does. Great big farm. A lot of horses. Um, here you go, Kevin. Which of these rich and shameless couples reportedly spent a hundred and ten million dollars on their wedding? Holy crap! Was it Prince William oh and God. Kate Middleton? Was it Prince Charles and Princess Diana? Or was it Chelsea Clinton and whoever she's married to? <laughs> uh, oh gosh. I think it's Anthony uh, Weiner, right? It's got to be the. <laughs> no, it, his name is Mark. I don't know what his last name is. Exactly. But I think it was it was it is and it the most Democrat. recent royal couple? Uh, well, are you, I know. I William am. and Kate Sometimes. would be the most recent. Will. You, you say that they spent more yeah, than yeah, Charles Will and Diana. And Kate. Wrong. Yeah, I think so. No, no. It was, it was Charles and Diana. Yeah, no. adjusted for today's dollars. It's like seventy-five billion. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a lot of money. <laughs> Dave, here you go. Which of these rich and shameless once famously threw a hotel room's television set out the window? Was it Keith Richards, Marilyn Manson, or Sir Elton John? <laughs> oh, they all seem like they could have done that. Yeah. Um, it's a tough one. Just because he seems like the guy who wouldn't do that, I'm going to go with Elton John. <laughs> wouldn't that be great? He is a world-class <laughs> tantrum thrower, uh, but it's actually Keith Richards, which it's, it's kind of surprising because he's got those skinny little chicken arms, you know, from years of treating his body great. Um, it was okay. a flat screen. And TVs it was a flat back screen. then. TVs is it, back is everyone, then were big, Is you everyone know? tied? Is it all 1-1-1? One, one, one? Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is it. Uh, yep. this, I think so. This is uh, worth two points. Uh, this is the last round for everyone. Which of these rich and shameless has a runway at his house for his multiple private jets? Is it Brad Pitt, John Travolta, or Andy Dick? Well, who's the question? John it's Travolta. for Alex, sorry. John Travolta is correct. All right, Alex has three. Kevin and Dave, the best you can do is tie. Kevin, which of these rich and shameless once spent a third of his country's national budget on a year-long party? Oh, man, I'm going to vacation here. Uh, Dominican Republic dictator <laughs> Rafael Trujillo, Libyan dictator Muammar Gaddafi, or North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un? Uh, I'm going to say Dominican Republic. And you won't be right. Let's go have some cigars there, hey. Rafael Trujillo. Love the DR. God, we're <laughs> so going there, Kevin. It's got to be amazing. 
Um, all right, Let's Dave. Let's do it with our EVs. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Our private Tesla Island. <laughs> Dave, which of these rich and shameless once had their pet monkey confiscated from them when they tried to bring it illegally to a foreign country? Was it Justin B. Bear, Diplo, or Nicole Richie? Just think, who's dumb enough to take I mean, their monkey to a foreign country, Dave? I feel like he wants to be like Michael Jackson, and he's an idiot. So I'll go with Justin Bieber. And you would be correct. It's a three-way tie, and we have no way to break it. Oh. So y'all got to take the trip. I don't want to split trip. an island with these two. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dave, you would be... You would love it. You're gonna have Come to. You're gonna have to right, mud Russell fine. for the Teslas. Um, all right, can't wait till it's in safe driving mode so we can. Woo! Thank you all so much, Alexandra, <laughs> Kevin, and Dave. Beautifully done. Great night, and great time. Thanks, Kennedy. Thanks, Kennedy. You're welcome.